this is Xiaowei Chen at the Ottawa Hospital Research Institute. My student Zhao Hongqin and a team of investigators in Ottawa, Calgary, and France have discovered a novel synchronic cascade that explains how chronic stress induces anxiety. Our findings identify a new therapeutic target to treat anxiety disorder. This exciting finding comes from a series of serendipitous observations of a a very interesting genetically manipulated mouse model that my lab has been studying for the past eight years. The knockout mice has a deletion of an important gene LMO4 in a subset of neurons in the brain, including the hypothalamus that control metabolic homeostasis and in the amygdala that commotion and the fear. In a nutshell, the knockout mice became obese and a diabetic at an older age. This led us to discover that the gene LMO4 we knocked out in the hypothalamus is actually an endogenous inhibitor of a tyrosine phosphatase PTP1B. PTP1B is known for its, its inhibitory effect on leptin and insulin signaling. Both signaling control how much food to eat, how much fat burn, and how glucose is handled and properly put away. Regarding this part of the work on how LMO4 Hence, metabolic homeostasis, please see our previous paper. While taking care of this knock of mice, my student Zhao Hong noticed that these mice display an unusual behavior. At the time of winning, why the white type mice run around the cage to avoid being caught? The mutant mice freeze in fear. This led us to discover that endocannabinoid signaling controlling synaptic activity in the amygdala is impairing these knockout mice. But how is endocannabinoid signaling disrupted in these knockout mice? Taking a cue from our previous findings that LMO4 is an endogenous inhibitor of PDP1B in the hypothalamus. Here, in this current neuron issue, we confirm that LMO4 is also important to suppress PDP1B activity in the amygdala. Importantly, we demonstrate that unopposed PDP1B activity would impair mgraphite dependent endocannabinoid production and cause anxiety. Using a series of uh, behavior tests, Zhao Hong confirmed that knockout mice are anxious. Endogenous endocannabinoids are key lipid messengers produced by postsynaptic neurons that act in a retrograde manner to suppress neurotransmitter release from the presynaptic neuron. As shown on the right of this slide, chronic stress leads to a collapse of endocannabinoid signaling in the amygdala, causing a barrier neural activity and anxiety. How this happened was a mystery to us. Zhao Hong showed that CB1 receptor antagonists make white time mice anxious. But because knockout mice are already anxious, this treatment has no further effect. On the other hand, a CB1 receptor agonist was able to reduce anxiety phenotype in knockout mice. Together with electrophysiological study, we conclude that CB1 receptors are functional in knockout mice. So the anxiety phenotype is likely due to insufficient endocannabinoid production. B. Dr. Hill's lab confirmed that the level of endocannabinoid 2-AG are lower in knockout amygdala. Since 2-AG production is tied to the activity of m we then examine whether m function is impaired in knockout mice. In this, the m agonist and antagonist experiments confirm that m dependent activity is impaired in knockout amygdala. Other shown that phosphorylation of m at tyrosine residue is important to maintain m activity. So we asked whether an impaired m functions was due to unopposed PDP1B phosphatase activity. With the biochemical studies, we confirmed that knockout neurons have elevated PDP1 activity that dysphosphorylate and inactivate m Using the PDV1B selective inhibitor, Traduscrimine, we were able 
to normalize PDB1B activity, restore mgra 5 phosphorylation and function, and importantly, alleviate the anxiety phenotype in knockout mice. In addition, knockdown of PDB1B with SHRNA using lentivirus factor also relieve the anxiety phenotype. Next, we ask whether our finding in these knockout mice might be relevant to stress-induced anxiety. Indeed, with white-time mice subjected to chronic stress had elevated PDB1B activity, reduced endocannabinoid production, and anxiety behavior. Importantly, the PDB1B inhibitor traduscrimin was able to alleviate the anxiety in these chronically stressed mice. This slides summarize our finding. We show that palmitoylation of M04 is important for M04 to be retained at ER, where it interacts with and inhibits PDB1B. The stress hormone corticosterone prevents M04 palmitoylation, leading to hyperactivation of PDB1B, dephosphorylation of MGR5, and loss of ECB production. In conclusion, our study has mapped up a new pathway that controls endocannabinoid production in the amygdala to limit each anxiety. Our study suggests that targeted PTB1B to restore ECB production might be a new therapeutic approach to treat chronic stress-induced anxiety disorder. Importantly, unlike other anxiolytic drugs, like benzodiazepine that affect behavior even in the absence of a stress. Inhibition of a PDP1B had no feasible effect on behavior in unstressed mice. The PDP1B inhibitor traduscrimin had already undergone clinical trials to treat obesity. Given that anxiety is more prevalent in patients with metabolic syndrome, targeting PDP1B could ameliorate both metabolic and behavior disorders. Thank you.